Today I am in Luxembourg to attend a meeting with defense ministers uh, of the European Union. I'm deeply concerned uh, by the latest developments uh, in Ukraine, uh, the continued violence by small groups of separatists and Russia's continued uh, military pressure uh, on Ukraine's border. I call on Russia to condemn this violence, de-escalate the crisis, and pull back its troops from Ukraine's border. Russia should stop being part of the problem and start being part of the solution. This crisis is a wake-up call for all of us uh, in Europe. It shows we cannot take security for granted. We have to invest in it if we want to preserve it. We Europeans have to stop the cuts to our defense budgets. I understand why they have been made, but we can no longer afford to gamble our future security. Now we have to turn this trend around. We have to spend more on defense and spend it more wisely. The European Council's decision to focus on observation drones air-to-air -air refueling and heavy transport helicopters and to promote enabling a strong European defense industry uh, is very welcome. Finally, we have to improve cooperation between NATO and the European Union. I would like to see greater readiness and greater coordination. For example, between the NATO Response Force and the EU battle groups. In Europe and in NATO, our unity is our strength. The best way to be stronger is to be more united.